Hey guys, welcome to the channel, it's The Eradicator, and so, we are playing Star Citizen Alpha 3.18, it is open PTU, and today guys, I want to do a hero to zero type of run, flying with a Scorpius, why not, we know that the Scorpius is going to be getting an update, or at least a variant, very soon, I made a video about it, I think that this variant is going to be killing the Mantis, uh, why would you ever fly a Mantis? when you can fly a Scorpius, unless you want to interdict people and prevent them from going uh, into, uh, from, uh, <laughs> and get them out of quantum, right? That's what the Mantis is going to be doing. Anyway, so, for our first activity here in this uh, Zero to Hero run, I know it's not entirely a Zero to Hero. Does it sound a little bit too loud, by the way? If you think it's a bit too loud, let me know in the comment section down below. I can adjust it uh, a little bit. But so, uh, for our very first run, we are going to go to a... Uh, uh, can I slave the turrets to the pilot? No, uh, we cannot slave the turret uh, deployable, unfortunately. But it looks like we have some contacts already in the bunker. It's a C8R. Hmm, my guess is that the owner of that C8R must have killed some uh, friendlies in that bunker. Because otherwise you're not going to be... Uh... Hey, KM, how's it going, man? Ah, well, I think you'll be in today's video. <laughs> so, I don't think that... I don't think that uh, you're gonna do some PvP out there with a C8R, so uh, not really, uh, not really much to worry about. But let's uh, get some approach here, landing. Oh no! There goes that. Oh, boo oh dear! There goes that C8R. I'm just hoping they're not going to be shooting at me for no reason, right? Yeah, everything seems to be fine. Oh, lots of wrecks out there. Definitely, things must have happened down this bunker. There's a... I don't know where that C8R is. Oh, it's over there back in the day. There's also an Ares that's just parked just in front of that bunker. And uh, looks like things didn't go so well for the owner of that Ares as well. That's okay. Uh, let's get out of here and uh, let's do our mission. So as you can see, since we are doing a uh, zero to hero type of gameplay, uh, I don't have anything, I just have a noob suit, and that's basically it. No armor, no fancy armor, no nothing. I'm just going with that, uh, I'm just going with that, it's not really the noob suit, but the basic on the suit to that bunker. Well, what a mess it is around here, isn't it, right? So, I'm gonna try to find a way on the, the wreckage of that Ares. I just, well, we can hear also the NPCs that it, uh, in the bunker, let's just hope that they don't kill all one. You know, they don't kill one another all at once. Want to have a little bit of fun as well. All right, was about to get past the wreck, and let's go inside. What a mess! Let's look have a look at this here. The effect of persistent entity streaming in Star Citizen. Well, sounds like we had some gunfights, but no one died. So, yeah. I was Pretty sure I could I did hear a little bit of the uh, of a ship. Anyway, I'm, maybe maybe that was my imagination. Anyway, that is all the game. The gun I have, a classic arc light pistol. I like the arc light actually. It's uh, one of the original pistols in Star Citizen, but it's also my favorite pistol. I know a lot of you guys like the Coda, which you're gonna see in Star Citizen Wars. One of the characters wearing a Coda. Oh, look at that! Look at that. We've got a player out there. Uh, I don't think that they're still alive, but uh, since I have nothing and they have everything, well, that's a very fancy armor they have out there. Uh, Miss uh, Steermaster. <laughs> what a cool name, Steermaster. <laughs> all right. I cannot directly equip all that beautiful gear here, so what I'm going to do, I will just uh, put some boxes aside. I just hope that the NPCs are not going to come and try to shoot me down when I'm changing here before this mission starts. No, seems like it's okay. There's also the backpack that's been removed. All right, so let's equip uh, the arms first. There we go. And then we're gonna get uh, the helmet. Now, I can't equip the helmet because I gotta remove my helmet first, of course. I'm gonna get the uh, core. Now I got some heavy armor, very nice. I mean, it's orange. I'm, I'm not a big fan of orange when it comes to armor, but hey, you know, uh, beggars cannot be choosers. So we'll just be taking what is available. Gonna grab, uh, grab. <laughs> We're gonna grab that backpack as well, uh, which is gonna allow some nice loot and a P4. Again, not my favorite gun. I mean, it's an effective gun. 
but I would prefer an F55. But hey, again, beggars aren't choosers. Female character, by the way. Uh, so, oh, there's one right there. Well, that was fast. Look at that, just a few shots and that NPC is already down. Yeah, just a few shots. Quite surprised. That P4 is actually quite effective. Oh, there's a cluster of NPCs over there. Yeah, they did shoot. I don't know if you guys saw some of the bullets here coming my way. Uh, luckily, they missed. But these NPCs can be dangerous from time to time. They need to see me first. So far, so good. Three down, seven to go. Wow, there's quite a lot of them out there. Usually NPCs don't go near the elevator area, so that is a, uh, a safe place to stay. Yeah, usually the P4 is a solid all-rounder. All I just find the P4 boring. There just looks like a gun that could exist in real life, and yeah, this, it's not exciting. That's why I never, I never use the P4. I'd much rather use an, a gallon energy rifle or even better an F55. Of course, you often see me use an FS9 because that's... There we go. You often use, you often see me use an, uh, an FS9 because they gave FS9s for Christmas. So <laughs> everybody's got an FS9 in theory. So of course I'm going to use an FS9. But uh, ideally it would be the, uh, the FS9. The Karna is great as well. I also like the Karna too, yes. Uh, oh, 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 did you hear that, guys? Yeah, there's definitely uh, stuff happening upstairs. Look at all those corpses. Persistence entity streaming at work. Did you hear that? There's a ground vehicle upstairs. Looks like we're gonna have some company real soon. Okay, four more. Now, why would someone. Oh, look at that. A player. Well, we'll be looting that player later because I still have four NPCs to take down. And I am a little bit worried with the ground vehicle that I can hear upstairs. I don't see a lot of loot boxes. That's also what I'm looking for. Oh, that's the one right here. I think that all of the friendlies are dead. Because I, I look at that. There's a friendly right there. All of the cruiser security officers seem to be down. I think I saw another NPC. There's one right there, and the last one. No, there's not the last one. There's another one here. We should be able to find the last one eventually. I think it's gonna be on that floor. Cause I haven't. There we go. Oh, there it is. Just casually walking. Haha, <laughs> you are looking on the wrong side. And next, I got 15 minutes for looting. So I'm gonna be look, looking for some of my favorite toys. Let's see what they have here, Mr. Officer. Yeah, 15,000 FIUSC. Not bad. Uh, C54s. No, thank you. Not really interested in those. They're so ubiquitous. You just find them everywhere. I mean, you can go to the Kelto. At Orison convenience store, it's also there as well. That's how ubiquitous that C54 is. What's this? Is that an FS9? Looks like a shotgun. Yeah, nah, it's a shotgun. No, thank you. Sorry. Gonna be uh, passing that one. Now let's look at. Uh, no, I think that's a. Uh, it's a Demico. So or custodian. It's one of those. Uh, Castac arms guns that I'm not a big fan of. I just like from Castac. I just like the Gallant Energy Rifle. It's not even from Castac. I think it's on bearing. Oh well. Yeah, I think it's the the Connors from Castac. I can't find any loot boxes, by the way. But we can try to see if there's anything interesting from that player there. Nice gold uh, Cormo here. Call the shot. Well, call the shot. Um, you die, but you spend some money for Valentine's Day, obviously. <laughs> yeah, too bad Call the Shot did not have a gallon energy rifle, right? You have the Valentine's Day armor, you should have a gallon energy rifle as well to go with it. What's this here? It's another BR2 shotgun. No, thank you. And let's see. Lots of BR2s, eh? Not a single loot box. That's unfortunate. Not even here. Ah, and uh, both guns that I have are P4. Oh, hello, sir. That's for killing our friend that you didn't kill. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> I am not responsible for the death of your friend. I did not even <laughs> exactly. I did not kill your friend. I just passed by. I do like your orange armor, though. That is really nice. It doesn't match the, the green gun. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, can you finish me off, please? Um, because I'm incapacitated. <laughs> Wait. I think that I am being revived. Wait, I think I'm being revived. Yes, yes, I am revived. Why are you on the ceiling? I don't know why I'm on the ceiling. How many people are those? Oh, okay, this is their medic here. Would you stay down? If you want me to stay down, why do you revive me? That's so weird. <laughs> what the hell is going on there? Oh, dear. I think I heard some tourists upstairs. You're, you're ours now. I am there. Oh so no. How's your day going? Are you having fun? <laughs> yeah, I'm having fun. <laughs> What's going on? What are who are these guys? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at this. It doesn't look very good. <laughs> it looks a little bit no, junky on it. Really Alright, so I think that they are taking me away. That's what's happening here. They, they are taking me away. They think that I killed their friends, but I did not kill their friends. I, I have no idea what's going on. Maybe they, they want a ransom. I mean, I could I could be backspacing, but I just want to see what they're going to be doing next. And by the way, did you notice that the timer is stuck? Uh, I should be dying in 1 minute and 28 seconds, but for some reason, I'm not dying. And they're... <laughs> Where are they taking me? This is like the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Oh no, I I'm not going through the elevator. Oh. Oh no no no, we are just uh, we are outside. Flopping around like a wet noodle. <laughs> and that's the reason why I changed my name. That's why I'm Erad now. I'm not the Eradicator anymore. Just Erad. Oh 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 oh! I think he's going to put me on the mule. Oh, didn't work so well. <laughs> it's gonna try again. I think it's going to put me on the rack. Oh, no, not on the head. I think I'm going to get a neck injury. <laughs> so, uh, placing me on the mule is not working so well. Uh, I think I'm going to go to another... Do they have any other vehicles? So, these are the guys that I heard before. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can be put on the trunk of the cyclone. Mr. Bean, who is? I guess that's his. Mr. Bean must be his friend. No, oh, the cyclone didn't work. But that's because you did not. Ah, he doesn't know. When you have a cyclone, you have to open the trunk, and then there's a little ram that goes down. That's how you put corpses inside. On the passenger seat, maybe. Yes. Oh, oh no, oh no! I just, they just, <laughs> I just fell on my shoulders here. Didn't work out so well either. It is uh, it is hard to kidnap a player, I guess. So the cyclone not working too. So I understand why they came with a ground vehicle because obviously if they had come with a ship, then the tourists would have shot down their ships. But the tourists are not going to be shooting down their. They have a box actually. Uh, oh oh oh! What's going on there? Oh, I think I'm inside. I don't see myself anymore. I. <laughs> Ah, look at that! That's my hand. My hand is popping out of it. <laughs> I'm inside. <so> <laughs> All right, I'll be your captain today. This mule likes to. Be it's like help, help! <laughs> and he just ran over his friend. Look at that! <laughs> he just ran over his buddy. Oh, oh, that's 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 oh, that is the funniest thing I've ever seen. It's unfortunate that uh, the other guy did not die though. And I'm literally stuck. I'm stuck <laughs> under that, that mule and they're taking me away. I'm being kidnapped here. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, well, um, obviously my uh, my host, uh, we'll call him that way. My, my host has not done the Daymar rally because it's not really good at, at driving a, a mule here. <laughs> you have to adjust the speed. 
Because I... <laughs> right now, I'm not dead. I still have a minute and 25 seconds to go for some reason. Which is weird. Uh, how I'm being preserved here from dying. I could be activating a, a beacon, by the way. But I, I just... Oh, that cyclone there did fly. Well, that was some interesting footage indeed. Oh, I see their ship. Their ship's over there. We can see the lights of the ship. Yeah, you don't 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 ram into those those rocks, uh, please. You know, at least I'm glad that this is not my armor. You know, they think it's my armor, but it's not. I just looted that armor before. So I'm really glad I wanted to do a hero. To, ooh, ooh, will that cyclone die? Let's see how durable. Oh, nice landing there. Do you see how durable that cyclone is? Yeah, the mule though is not the best. <laughs> it's not the best ground vehicle for all terrain type of uh, driving. Ooh, but I'm surprised that they has also not died. A little uh, squirrely. So Cadium here, who did. <laughs> <laughs> Cadium, who did take, uh, I think he's the one who kidnapped me here, is also in the chat during the, this live stream. So he's watching, he's watching his misfits that he did to me a couple of days ago. Sure, uh, Cadium, since you're in the chat, did you know that was that it was me <laughs> first? Uh, how, wh why did you guys do this here? <laughs> I have picked up the Eradicator before, says so four four fox. I don't think so. Must probably wasn't me because I don't remember this guy. Anyway. So, we have arrived at their Mercury Star Honor. I guess that this is where they are going to be taking me in. But, um, I, have <laughs> I have activated a beacon. So, hopefully, someone will be coming in for the rescue. Because I don't picture myself staying in the back of that mule for the rest of my gameplay session. That's just not an option. Uh, dude, do not kill your friend again, please. Do not run him over. Yeah, so sorry about the the camera work. Um, it's the first time I'm being kidnapped in the back of a <laughs> of a mule, so I, I I try to do to have the best camera work possible for for your get for you guys. But yeah, not easy. Yeah, they're checking if I'm still in there. I I am still there, but I don't see my hand. My hand is not not out of the vehicle anymore. I guess I must be taking a rest. I expect a video of this. Yes, 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 yes. The video is coming up right now, uh, Midas. <laughs> uh, I did not know of you. My friend Acid Drum let me know that he knew you. This was just a silly adventure. Oh, so you guys were having a uh, silly adventure. Very silly indeed, as we can see on the footage right now. But very entertaining. I, 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 like, I, I like it quite a bit. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so now I am in the MSR. I think that we are being taken somewhere else because I can't see anything. But we can hear the engine of the MSR. At the same time, I'm having a look. Yes, I am comfortable. Uh, my hand is not popping out anymore. Yeah, yeah, we are definitely flying away because we can hear. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Force reaction. Yeah, they should have those little uh, those little jump seats at the back of the MSR, because otherwise, yeah, the, uh, that's what's gonna happen if you stay in the in the back of the ship. It's quite a, a bit roomy actually in the MSR, looking like a little uh, hangar over there. You can put quite a few of these ground vehicles. There's that cyclone and uh, two mules with a box also. I think that the box is more. I don't think this is a delivery box. This looks more like a. Uh, a uh, micro, micro SCU box. So at the same time, I'm looking at the time, at least the the distance between myself and the. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking at the distance between myself and the the guy who is uh, try going to rescue. Uh, that's going to be interesting as well. Will he be successful? You know, will these guys be scared? Will they release me? Well, that's going to come up uh, real soon. As well, uh, Kidium in the chat says that the mule is great 
for bunker running. I guess that's because you can put some uh, boxes inside, you know, guns perhaps. Yeah, I guess that if you can you know, try to loot as many guns as possible. Oh, it has a gun rack. Yeah, that's true. Personal storage too. So you can put some of the armor as well that you're looting inside the inside the mule. Uh, it definitely makes sense. I believe that there's also a little bit of uh, personal storage in the STV or the PTV. Yeah, the, yeah, the STV, the, the new vehicle from Greek Industrial. But yes, at the same time, the uh, mule has an interior with, as you can say, climate control cab. So let's say you're in a very harsh environment like Aberdeen or Ariel, then of course it makes using a mule so much sense. This guy sounds like a freak. <laughs> yeah, we are having indeed a little trip. <laughs> I think he's bored. I think he's bored. But anyway, he says, brought to you by the people that mostly harmless. So, Cadium, since you're in the chat, Cadium, who are the people of mostly harmless? Is this a nor? What are you guys doing? Uh, do you just do random stuff like that to players? Or, uh, well, let us know a little bit about you guys uh, in, in the chat out there. <laughs> yeah, so far not so good for me. I'm still stuck here. This must, this mule must be uh, magnetically uh, sealed quite a bit. But I'm seeing that my my savior is not too far. He is only 616 kilometers away, and it looks like we are about to arrive. Based on what we could see here, we are now on Yela. We used to be on Selin. No, where was that? No, 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 it was not sitting. It was Daymar. And now we're about to land. Ooh, ooh, that is not a very good landing. I don't know whoever is flying, but I have seen better landings. But it's the day. Is this Jump Town? Definitely somewhere on ceiling. I guess that soon the door is going to be opening. They must have some plans, right? So, uh, Kenyam in the chat says that uh, Mostly Harmless is their org, they do a bit of everything, tons of multi-crew, they enjoy combat, industry support, love to play the whole game uh, on all sides of the law and they want to have fun. I believe that on that day, Kenyam, you guys must have been bored. <laughs> That's, that is what happened, I believe. Ah, so he is inside, yes, 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 he did get inside the mule, so we should be expecting the door to open very really soon but my rescue is not far as well 500 meters away so it's going to be interesting to see how that is going to play out where the hell oh there it is look at that that's my rescue here but he's in the hornet i'm not gonna go really far with the hornet he probably doesn't know that uh, <laughs> i'm in the mule <laughs> so i'm saying in the chat blitz i'm in the mule <laughs> I'm in a mule. There we go. He's, he's following the mule. Yeah, no, no. Please don't shoot the ground. Shoot at the mule. Trying trying to shoot. There we go. There we go. Destroy it, please. I didn't know that. Uh, I guess he has bad aim. Oh, no. I think that... Just destroy it, guys. We're, we're... Blitz, come on. We're, we're, we're not doing anything. That's it. That's it. Blitz is in pursuit now. <laughs> yes, you are you are being fired upon, of course. And this is where I think that my rescuer bleeds must be. <laughs> this is where I know what a chase, right? This is awesome. I wish that I had removed the chat. But it looks super cool on camera. <laughs> But I don't understand why Blitz is not shooting at the mule. Just destroy it. At this point, I don't care if I'm dying or not. Just, just destroy it. Maybe, maybe soft death can allow the mule to survive. And then with soft death, maybe I can, I can then be put out of the mule. Yeah, it's... <laughs> I was quite happy with the camera angle, Kenyon. But the problem is, the way you drove the mule made it not easy. <laughs> I don't know if it was, yeah, I think Kedium must have been you who uh, who drove that mule. And that's that's gonna be the, the thumbnail of this video, by the way. 
<laughs> oh no! Stuck on the rock again! Oh! There was a little bit of lasers that I think he was shooting. He's trying to shoot at. My gosh. This is where you see that ground vehicles need a little bit of work. I think I saw a bunker! I, yeah, I think I saw a bunker. So we are going towards a bunker as well. Now, why are we heading toward the bunker? I don't know. Uh, I don't know what they are going to be trying to do with me. <laughs> I think, what are you doing? No, you cannot go inside a bunker with a mule. It doesn't work. Although it would be very cool. Can you imagine, you know, taking the elevator with a mule? I think that he tried to ram the <laughs> he tried to ram the hornet <laughs> with his mule. And I think that's it here. It's living hey, the eradicator. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, sir. I would like to be released, hey, if that's uh, possible. Oh, I tell you what. Uh, Pico or Finley? Finley. I hate Pico. But Pico makes for a good R2-D2 in Star Citizen Wars. I don't know if you like the answer or not. I guess it's the right answer. I hope it's the right answer. I want to I, I wanna be... I want to be released. <laughs> Always pick Pico. Oh no, I should have picked Pico. <laughs> but I don't like Pico. Well, uh, Blitz is out there. Uh, I wonder if... Oh, he's in a noob suit. And I'm really wondering why these guys are not shooting him. Maybe they're going to release me. Let's see. Yeah, they're they're trying to see where I am. And yeah, I'm stuck on there that mule. <laughs> I, 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 how? I think he's just under it and he's actually shooting, trying to revive me from here. Yeah, 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 yeah. My, my gun popped out for some reason. So maybe I'll be... Oh, yeah, I'm moving. I'm moving. Maybe I'll just falling. I just fall there on the ground. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm in pretty bad shape. Look at that. I'm, I'm so frozen. My entire armor suit is white. So it looks like I'm going to be revived here. Now, someone's gonna pay. I'm not going to let myself be manhandled like this. Oh, hey guys. Wait a minute. There you go. I think that Blitz just wanna get paid and he doesn't want... Blitz doesn't wanna be involved in all of that. He just wants to be paid. And, he, and he'll be out and then I'll be probably incapacitated again. And I'll have to get another beacon. So finally, out of the trunk. Now, of course, I'm trespassing. It's gonna get me a crime stat because of these guys. Okay, can I get up? Yes! Yes, I am awake! Uh, I'll give Mr. Blitz here a good review. Now, you... There I go, take this. <laughs> <laughs> that was for good measure. At this point, I didn't care at all if I was gonna survive or not. <laughs> just wanted to shoot. I just wanted to shoot one of these guys. That's just like screw this. <laughs> screw. It. Should have taken my guns away. And that is the end yeah. of this video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. This is how I was kidnapped in Star Citizen. The first thing that something like that ever happened to me. But it's it's been a lot of fun. And I had no idea that you could actually put a player at the back of a trunk. Anyway, guys, let's, uh, let's keep the show going, shall we?